Hello everybody, Zombie Freddy here with some more Fallout New Vegas. Last episode, we made it through the artillery and insults into Nellis Air Force Base and talked to Mother Pearl. Right now we're going back to collect Veronica and collect our 600 caps that we defended against with a gentleman down here. So, let's go and collect it. Easiest 600 caps I have made today. You're gonna be so surprised. Jumping Jesus on a pulpit. You're the first one to make it through alive, let alone manage a return trip. That's right. I believe you said you would double my money. Yeah. Here are your caps. There you go. Sorry about that. Poor me. Here. That's right. I should have made it 700 caps, but I mean, okay. Ah, just a little. I know you were talking to this fine gentleman, and his voice sounds familiar again. <laughs> Let's go, Veronica. We have people to help. People to help, things to do, ants to kill, booze to tend to, stories to listen to, and maybe we'll make something out of the water. Watch your steps. Again, I'm not female. I have a mustache. I have a manly build. So, unless you think I'm something different. Than what I think I am. I don't know why I have to be called a sister. But we gotta say it, Veronica. We have to have a pretty real thing to tell about here. They got all this artillery. They got a huge place to live. If anybody even gets near them, they rain down hellfire. I mean, this isn't a half assed place to live. If you wanted to, anyway. <laughs> and that's if they wanted to, they would too, too. Hi. Hello there. Let's see, so what are we? This is like a schoolhouse. Is it in there? Nothing new to you, my friend. What's this thing? Okay. Here we go, I'm gonna get space now. Hello there, Doc Hawaii. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, Outsider. But I have patience to tend to. Let's see, I met some friends that suck useful. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. You have medical training? I have extensive. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. That seems like I'm a doctor. Then I'm already a doctor, hold on. That guy's gonna be some highlights. Possibly a shadow. With a combination of natural herbs, bandages, and some disinfectant, you were able to clean up the wound and help the system, the patient's immune system after help it out. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of it that way. That's why I'm here. I want to smoke you. Ooh, okay. These two will get back to you. If I try and touch them right now, I'm going to end up dead. So, yeah. Where is our skill? A 42. Okay. The highest is 60. Okay. I don't really want to just throw in enough to get up to 60. But. Where have I even gone? I want to go talk to you. Let's see. I could boost it up to 50. It'd be nice too. So you could forfeit guns and just throw it all into medicine. Which wouldn't be a terrible idea, since we got a new manic gauntlet girl with us, who can punch anything and it just shatter their jaw. So I don't think we'll just do that. Workshop. Here we go. Use it. Hello there, child. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of my people. That is right. Gosh. I know. Over at the yeah, I know. Who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the store. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the store until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don, you know, whiskey and landmines don't <laughs> go together. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything.
in battle. This guy's really familiar. I don't know why, though. I don't know all about Wonderful. people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mural on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, we've had it several times. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. The thing we are talking about. Right so long. Oh. How can I help you, outsider? No. If you no, you let me feel part of it. We can talk to him. Just through a shaman rock, that's good enough. I don't know why I wasn't looking though, there's a part where you can like pass me about stuff and that boosts up big time. But I know something don't really work as well in the PC version. So uh, let's go see if we can talk to Raquel by camp. Notice they're vault dwellers from Vault 34. I'm not gonna be sitting in that vault. They had like a shooting range, all that cool stuff. But of course, he don't want a shooting range in the vault. Well, not only shooting, well, just shooting in general in the vault. That just causes all sorts of badness. So eventually, they revolted and went out to the waste. And that was known. So Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. So far, so Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants had tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. I can handle a few ants. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets do no pain. Just don't hit the artillery shots. 
Moya's been working on some kind of weapon to use. Oh, she does. I can handle a few rats. Anybody can handle a few rats. I don't know, it's more than a sandwich might be able to handle. Admit, not to be rude, but I took out an entire prison full of powder cannons. I'm pretty sure it's been a long day. I can take down some rats. <laughs> Even if they're explosive ants, I'm pretty sure I can take them down. Besides that, of course. I think I can handle it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of... Did you hear a chicken? No, no chicken in that area. Maybe if there was, it'd be a radioactive chicken. I don't know. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Let the first one fight the rats. I've started drilling a tonic to Mira. It might do the trick. But it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the rat. Uh, let's see. Let me just go past. If you're willing to take the risk, be my guest. I've got it set to broadcast a powerful signal at 24,000 hertz. Just place it near their nest and cross your fingers. The signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Okie dokie. Let's see. Come over here, might as well talk to you. Get this quest up and going. What do you got? Okay. Might as well talk to you over here. What is it, outsider? Why do you serve coffee? If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator room? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near the ranch. You can't miss the arrays. <laughs> if we had spare parts, do you think I'd be asking you to fix the damn things? No, we ran out of spares a while back. And Jack and I have been doing our best to patch the arrays up as best we can. There has to be spare parts somewhere around the wasteland, but I just don't know where to direct them. You may have noticed we don't get out much. Uh, I'll be back. Be sure to stop on by. I will. I wonder where we can find some solar panels. Where in the wasteland might we be able to find solar panels? <laughs> solar panels. I wonder. Well, we might as well hop over to Helios 1. Grab those, then come back and do a two birds with one stone kill when it comes to quests. <laughs> Let's go, Tonka. Good job. That's the new three for the crew. Shoot, knock into that. Yes, you did. Congratulations. Cam face of the year goes to Veronica for taking over a garbage can. Congratulations. Not really a garbage can, more of a barrel, but same thing. You have discovered Helios 1. Solar power plant of the wasteland, running at 1% efficiency, which I guess just isn't good enough for some people. This is a restricted area. State your business. What the NPR? Your being here is a start, soldier. We aren't exactly overflowing, uh -huh. but if you really want to help us, talk to the idiot with sunglasses in the back. Right. He's been trying to get this place running for months and hasn't made any solar. All right. Later. Not really a soldier, I guess. With the NPR. More of a free crime. Not like a mercenary either, they can't really hire mercenaries. So I guess you'd call me a freelancing officer. I guess. There we go. Pop through here. Go through the labyrinth. Downstairs, made it. Perfect. Well, looks like quite as the ending episode. So next, we're going to be talking to the idiot with the sunglasses, 
Until then, stay cool and remember, it's time for me to go.